Hey there. That is Hadrian's Gate, built in honor of Roman Emperor Hadrian, who visited Antalya here in 130 AD. I made another video showing more of the city there. I am now heading to uh, get my uh, rental car, which is parked in the parking lot a couple of blocks this way, and drive out to the ancient Roman ruins of Shade, Aspendos, and Perga. So this is going to be an amazing day of uh, exploring Roman ruins, so let's get going. Looks like this is a popular place. So this is the ancient city of Sede, if I'm saying that right. Before then I said Roman ruins, but it's more complicating than that because as is the case with most of these sites, and they were occupied by various empires throughout the millennia. And so in a recent video of mine in which I visited the ghost town of Kayakoi, a uh, Greek enclave, up until the early 20th century when World War I happened and uh, there was fighting and, and it's a whole, you know, not pleasant history. But ultimately then a population exchange occurred between Greece and Turkey in which the uh, Greeks in Turkey were forced to go to Greece. The Turks in Greece were forced to come to uh, Turkey. But I showed a map at one point talking about the Greek Empire and the map that I showed was actually the Byzantine Empire. So when you're talking about the Greek Empire, it kind of depends on your definition because the borders were not as clearly defined as the Roman Empire. The Greek Empire or ancient Greece was actually split up into different uh, factions, different uh, regions with their own leaders and politics and everything. And so the Byzantine Empire is also called the Eastern Roman Empire. And after Rome fell, basically, then it kind of transformed into the Eastern Roman Empire, which was kind of a conglomeration of Latin and Greek-speaking cultures. And so I labeled the map that I showed as the Greek Empire, just to kind of get the point across about the uh, different uh, areas that were occupied by both Greece and what, you know, eventually became the Ottomans into this area and how the uh, Greeks were all throughout this area and then the Ottoman Empire came in and conquered Constantinople in 1453 and that changed the whole structure of the uh, borders and everything in this area and the Ottomans took over basically. But uh, the Byzantine or Eastern Roman Empire was kind of Greek but not exactly um, and so uh, these ruins were Roman and then became Byzantine as well and perhaps others occupied uh, the site, we will find out soon. So, where do I buy a ticket? I love camels. And a little taste of things, but it's going to get a lot more spectacular. This sounds like a really, really phenomenal sight. The fountain in the city wall outside the memorial gate was built in the 2nd century, I guess that means AD. It consists of three semicircular parts carved into the wall. Directly in front is a pool surrounded by a wall. You can reach the area in front of the pool by three separate sets of stairs. Imagine what it was like when it was fully intact and a thriving city just... So much detail. One of the most important monuments of the city is the Nymphaeum, built in the second century.
The history of Sade. Sade is one of the most important cities of Pamphylia. It was founded on the west side of the nearby Meles River. The word Sade means pomegranate fruit in Luwian. Sade entered into Persian rule with the rest of Anatolia in 540s BC. In 334 BC, the city surrendered to Alexander the Great and entered into Macedonian rule. Ruled by the followers of Alexander, the city entered the rule of Ptolemaeans and later to Seleucids. With the decline of Seleucid rule in the Mediterranean, Sade recovered her freedom but opened her harbor to piracy and became rich by that. The city entered into Roman rule in 67 BC by General Pompey the Great. The city became richer under Roman rule and became the capital of its region. The city continued its development during the early Byzantine period, so that is the uh, Eastern Roman Empire, or the uh, Greek. But from 7th century onwards, because of Arab raids affecting Mediterranean trade, the city started losing importance. At the end of the 19th century, because of the revolts against the Ottoman rule in Crete, the island in Greece, and the annexation of the island by Greece, Turkish population fled from the island. Some of the refugees were settled at Sade by the government. A newly formed village was called Selimiye after the name of the Sultan's son. So yeah, a lot of different uh, cultures have lived here. And so I feel like I'm in the site now. I can actually see the amphitheater out there, which is at the center of the complex. And I haven't been asked to pay a uh, entrance fee yet. So I will let you know if I do and how much it costs. But uh, for now, then it's been free to enter in here. Excuse me. Yeah, I can see the uh, amphitheater very well now. Right over there. Looks like the city walls don't want to fall off that one. So I guess this is the edge of the city here, and then it's all inside here. And looks like this might have been the Agora, the uh, marketplace area, possibly, or just a like, grand promenade.
and the lovely Mediterranean Sea. And so I think that I'm at the ancient theater, and this might be where I need to pay entrance fee. So it was 45 Turkish Lira, which is about $6. And here we go. The ancient theater. Although the theater plan has a Hellenistic tradition, or Greek, the building has a Roman architectural tradition in its structure. The building dates to 2nd century AD, and in the 3rd century AD, the orchestra part surrounded with a high parapet wall to transform an arena was built, I guess. The chapels are from the 5th century AD that were found in the archaeological excavations showing that the theater was transformed into a holy place, open-air church in the early Christian era. There is the ancient theater, and here is your modern-day Agora marketplace. And a pirate ship out there. Check it out. Similar to the one that I took in Oludinez. <laughs> And a lovely harbor here. Excuse me. Have you seen the Apollo Temple, Apollon? The Apollon Temple this year. Straight out here, cool. Yes. Thank you. Where are you from? Oh, where? Turkey? Turkey, eh? Yes, I am a Turk. I am a Capitan. La ah, cap captain of the ship. Cool. Thank you. 
And time for some sustenance. I'm a sucker for cheesecake. Looks good. Lots more coming. And a Turkish plate. Looks amazing. Greek salad. Kind of, sorta. No olives. Normally it doesn't have lettuce. A Turkish Greek salad, I guess. Rice and potatoes. Oh yeah. And here is the incredible Apollon Temple or Apollo Temple dedicated to the god Apollo and also believed to be where Anthony and Cleopatra met. Supposedly Anthony offered this as a token of his love to Cleopatra. Church of Athena. It's the church. I see. From Byzantine. Byzantine, Byzantine era, yes. Yeah. Incredible. So he said it is a church to Athena during the Byzantine era, and so that tells you Greek.